Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back. Once again, another reaction for you guys. Hey guys, of course, I'm here checking out Ben 10 Alien Force. It's weird to say Ben 10 Alien Force. I'm used to saying just Ben 10. But anyways, Ben 10 Alien Force, Season 1, Episode 2. Today I'm here checking out, of course, Ben 10 Returns, Part 2. Too. It's so crazy to say Alien Force because I'm so used to saying Ben 10. It feels crazy now that I've moved on to the sequel show. It's insane. So, part one of Ben 10 Returns was crazy for a lot of different reasons. I mean, number one, Ben and Gwen have different voices. That's something I have to get used to. Max is still the same voice actor, thankfully, but Ben and Gwen, they're grown up a little bit. Well, not grown up, but they've grown up a little bit. A couple years have passed. Ben somehow, somehow has the Omnitrix off. I have no idea what's going on. He puts it back on finally making the decision because something happened to Max. There's this alien that seems like they were tra like the alien was tracking Ben or whatever. Ultimately, you come to find out that this alien was actually trying to find Max, thinking that Ben's involved or something like that. And then, of course, it's not the case at all. But then when he finally goes to hit the Omnitrix because Kevin shows up and he's a part of some sort of deal with the Forever Knights and these aliens, some sort of new race of aliens. I don't think we've ever seen them before. Uh, the beginning of part one, which showed one of them talking to some like, I guess, I have no idea, I guess an evil alien, but some sort of other alien or whatever. And so it went through like this blue phase, which we haven't seen before on the Omnitrix. And even Gwen says, why is it rebooting? Like this is the worst time for it to reboot or whatever. I don't think it rebooted. It upgraded, literally. And people are saying, is that a pun? Because I post my Discord. Like, it's weird to say that it upgraded. Was that a pun? Like, I upgrade, well, I guess. But literally, it upgraded, and now Ben has a new alien, and he has all these new aliens on this new updated version of the Omnitrix. I have no idea what's going on, but my God, it's insane. Of course, it ends. Uh, of course, as part ones would, part one ends with this giant alien dragon or whatever, and they're in the Forever Knights castle, and yeah cuts to to be continued so i cannot wait to dive in guys i cannot wait i'm so excited it's it, i had a, it took it was taking me a while to process everything that was kind of happening in part one but now i'm ready i'm ready let's get into now guys i'm ready to just learn more about this new like future future sequel show i'm rounding at this point anyways ben 10 returns part two let's go yeah giant dragon Oh, here are the Forever Knights. And they have a new design, too. I forgot to mention that. Holy crap, Kevin. Oh. What? Where did they get a dragon? That's new. Wait, what? He's kicking ass. Taking names. Yeah, don't do it. Uh oh. That's why level they five just killed that longer. guy. Humans aren't ready for it. I love that like platform. She's. I think. She, yeah, she used that in that first part. God, she's so good at magic. I love it. Got him. Got him. What is that? A silent scream? Oh, it's not even real. It's a robot. But say, how'd they get a dragon in there? That's all. It's a lot of guns. Mind. Could you help? Yeah. That's not water. What's happening? Blood? You all right, man? Let us what? Help What's you. happening? Are you, is he dying? You want to help me? Your grandpa was on the trail of something big. An alien wow. conspiracy with Earth in the middle. You are Ben Tennyson. You are. Wow. I'm gonna need help. You know I'm here for you. Kevin? What? There's no money in this. I'm in. Okay, you're in. Okay. I should be able to trace the vibration. About to say she's around. tracking That's or something. Who used to own it. Follow me. <laughs> He's gonna float to her. You just float on inside the car. Follow it's fine. Down that mine shaft. We'll have to get past the. Oh, exactly. <laughs> it's like the mask the aliens at the train station were wearing. Mm-hmm. They're obviously involved. We're getting warmer. Whoa. What are they doing? Exactly. It's the mothership. Don't you get it? Mothership. Grandpa Max has to be in there. Wow. So how do we get in? How's this work again? Perfect. 
looks just like them. How do I look? Hey, how's it going? Don't speak to them. What's You're giving up? it away. It's cold. It's freezing in here. Mm. I owe you a call. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. Whoa, what's this power? She's able to see throughout the whole entire mothership? So, now what? We just get out of here, right? Wrong. Grandpa Max taught me to ride my bike. He wow, ran flashback. alongside me, holding yeah. me up while I pedal. Training wheels off, guys. We're gonna finish the mission. Finish the mission. I like that. Let's go. All the weapons. Weapons. Yep. Destroying them all. There you go. <laughs> humans, humans, humans. Oh, yeah. I forgot they spit. Ugh. I'm really liking this new transformation sequence. It's awesome. Whoa! Wow, okay. Hero time. Wow, he's big. Whoa. He punched his head off. Jesus. Just get out of here. You're nothing. You're nothing. You're nothing. <laughs> wow. God, he's just kicking ass, taking names. Whoa. Whoa. Is that the alien from part one, I think? I think it is. Ooh. Oh, damn, he's strong. Oh. Kevin, get her out of here. You heard the man. Oh, come on. Come on, Ben. Okay. This guy's brutal. Come on, Ben. Ooh. What's the plan exactly? Five miles. <laughs> They're bite him. The Phil. He's going to destroy the town. How? I don't know. He's going to do it now. And he's getting out of there. So I think it's all about working together, not just been doing it. He can get bigger. He's like Godzilla now. Jesus. My God. Hanging on. But that must be what destroy. Yeah. Yeah. Stop that. Oh my God. I didn't think we'd get this far. No. There you go. Yeah, get close to the hospital. Ooh, okay. Okay. That's cool on the platforms again. Love those platforms. Holy shit. Oh my god, I didn't expect it to crash like that. Humongousaur skinned his knee. Humongousaur. He was still skinned when I turned back. So what happens mm. now? We wouldn't have made it without you. Can't shake it up. Come on. You still won't make it without me. I made somebody a promise. I'm seeing this through Ooh. to the end. Okay. Then you can shake hands, right? Okay. I like the, I like the new Omni tricks. I like the new Omni tricks. You may speak to me. Okay, Have that's. Supply ship was destroyed in an altercation mm -hmm. with Ben Tennyson. He has no idea what he's up against this time. I'm really enjoying Ben 10 Alien Force so far. Obviously, I've only seen the first two episodes of the show. Of course, Ben 10 Returns Part 1 and now Part 2. But I'm really, really enjoying it because it feels like Ben 10, but it feels like something more. And the fact is, they found a way to do some really cool stuff that they really couldn't have done in the first series. It's just because Ben and Gwen were younger and, of course, Kevin was really set up as a villain. Of course, he wasn't around, like, throughout the whole show. I mean, he popped up, of course, in um, Season 1 and Season 2. And then, of course, Season 4 as, like, a memory thing because they're Forever Nights. But the fact is that Kevin is now part of this kind of... And Max, I mean, we've seen a little bit of him, but he's not really a part of the show at the moment. But he's, like, part... Like, he's not part. The reason why this is going on, why Ben had to put the Omnitrix back on... And why Gwen is helping Ben again. It seems like they really haven't been do doing too much since Ben 10 kind of wrapped up in regards to all those stories. It seems through those years uh, leading up to now, there really wasn't much going on. And Kevin, they, they just kind of, you know, things, I mean, time's passed everything. You know, people change even though they were kids. Now they're teenagers. Still, 
it's it, some time has passed. So things are going to change and things are going to be a little different. I thought when that other alien showed up, who was like, you know, putting them down and yelling at them and everything. And Ben was, um, I forget what he said, humongosaurus. Or I think it's uh, something like that, but that like dinosaur type alien, which is really cool. I thought that that alien was the alien we saw at the beginning of part one. And we saw that alien again at the end of part two. And it wasn't, it's, the, it's a similar species. I think it's actually the same species, but it's a different character. And I think the, the one we saw at the beginning of part one and the, and we saw him again at, of course, here at the end of part two, uh, cause he's being told, you know, that a transport ship was destroyed. Like it was destroyed. I think all those aliens are dead. And the fact that Max is still evading them. And then Ben's been spotted with the Omnitrix I think this alien that was being talked to and this really deep voice and everything, it's a cool design for this, for this alien. I think this is the Vilgax. Like this is the villain of season one because Vilgax was ultimately the, the main villain in terms of an overarching story of season one of Ben 10. So I'm thinking this is the overarching villain, villain for season one. I'm, I, now when I say Vilgax, they may come across as Vilgax was like the main villain essentially throughout the entirety of Benton, even though he didn't appear all the time, he still was the main villain. Essentially, they kept going back to. I'm not saying this is going to be this vil this villain, like this alien is going to be the new Vilgax. I hope that Vil. I don't think is Vilgax like gone for good. No idea. I don't think so. Based off of uh, potential future uh, storylines with Ben Ten, uh, Ben Ten Thousand, not Ben Ten, Ben Ten Thousand, and everything. So potentially Vilgax could it reappear. I think. I I think he he might. Cause he's not dead. I don't think so. Anyways, I think he, I think he has to come back, but this might be the new overarching villain for the first season. We'll see what happens. But what I liked about this episode is we got to see more new aliens from Ben. And the fact is, it seems like he's just kind of, he's kind of picking the pace up. He's picking, he's, he's figuring it out pretty quick. Cause when the episode continues from part one and now part two with that, what it turns out to be a robot giant dragon, Ben turns into a, like what looked like a version of Ditto because when it started splitting, I'm thinking D Ditto, but it's not. It's this robotic like alien that's like mimicking the same words or whatever as it's like running at the at the dragon robot dragon, and then has a silent scream that destroyed like the the, the body of the robotic dragon and everything, and then they use those silent screams to destroy the guns. I don't remember the name of the alien, the one that has been helping Ben and Gwen in part one and was here a little bit for part two who, who, who died. That was a, that was a pretty, a pretty big moment. I think for Ben to be told by this alien who, who knows his grandfather who's saying you have to finish the mission. You know, he's out there, find the source of the weapons, all that kind of stuff. Like there's something big going on with these weapons and everything and why they were on earth. Why are they, destroying within a five mile radius why are they cleansing things and destroying life and everything a certain radius so they can do stuff what's going on with this right but him telling ben that you can do this you know i basically giving him that pep talk he needs because a little bit later when they're in the ship ben talks about what grandpa max helped him ride a bike and let him go as he kept going and it was a flashback even before the events of ben 10 he was younger and he says, by the time I realized that he had let go, I was so, I was, I've been riding around by myself for a long time. And essentially, cause he had, he had said in part one and said to that alien, as he was dying at the course, towards the beginning of part, of part two, after the big fight went down, which was really cool. Uh, and the fight of course, in the alien ship as well, the mothership was cool too, as they called the mothership, but saying that I, I can't do this alone. I need my, I need grandpa Max. He knows what to do. He always knows what to do. Like he. He doesn't know if he can do this, but then after telling that story about riding a bike and grandpa Max helping him and letting him go, training wheels are off. We complete the mission. We're doing this. And I really, I really liked that. I really did. And then when he turned into, I think he called it humongosaurus, regardless that dinosaur type alien, it was so cool. Wrecking shop, kicking ass, taking down those aliens like nothing. Of course, Kevin doing the same thing. I love the fact that Gwen is just nonstop using magic and it takes no effort. She's not even yelling spells. You know, she's so versatile in her spells that she doesn't even need to say them because back during the original Ben 10 series, she would have to say it and then conjure up the thing. Now she can just throw up shields, blast, 
like like pulls like where she could throw like the like an energy thing and then grab a hold of somebody and then pull them back or whatever she's done a variety of things and two she used one of the weapons of course the one that kevin kept because all the other ones were destroyed by the silent scream of that one alien but gwen was like floating in the middle of the road just floating and spinning the weapon and trying to track the source what the hell and then i love it so much i love that quinn i love that quinn's doing this i love it is that she freaking went like hair like like you know like hair going crazy and glowy eyes and she's searching through the ship to try to find max and finds out he was here weeks ago but he's not here now i'm like my god how fucking powerful are you oh my god i love this i love this so much it is crazy how powerful she is like dangerous like thankfully she's on the 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 right side of things but my god awesome Kevin, he, yeah, he, he likes Gwen. It's clear. It's clear he likes Gwen. It feels kind of random and all of a sudden. I think that maybe if they would have established, maybe the, but maybe the thinking was they didn't even think about Kevin. Because I don't remember if Kevin had a, like, was, was like liking Gwen back then. Then again, they were too young for that kind of stuff. You know, like, I don't know. It just feels kind of out of nowhere. But we'll see what happens. Hmm. I don't know. But man, this was intense. And almost hitting the hospital with that beam. Thank God Ben like just ripped some cables and shit out. My God. <laughs> they almost destroyed a hospital. Kind of close. <laughs> a little too close. <laughs> um, and then that slamming in the ground when he fell off the ship. Whatever. That ship slamming and destroying like, is crazy. And that one guy who used a faulty weapon. And he was told not. She's like, don't use it. It's faulty. It's, just, you know, it's messed up. He died. They killed all those aliens on that ship. Like, literally, that explosion, they killed all the aliens on that ship. And that Forever Knight died in the process of using that faulty weapon. So, they've showed some deaths. Not like showed show, but the implication is there's been some deaths. I like that it's darker. I like the fact that it is darker. I'm not expecting, like, an R-rated Ben 10 or anything like that. No, we don't need that crap. We don't need the nonsense. But, I like the fact that it's darker. I like that. It's interesting. So, yeah, overall crazy crazy part two i really enjoyed it i like seeing the new aliens we've now seen now three new aliens and i'm liking the tra- the transformation sequence that's really cool i like the fact that it's different and when he reverts back to ben i like the just the look of it i don't know what it is the animation i'm not sure why but it was cool it's awesome i'm digging it so yeah seems like ben gwen and kevin it's weird to say that kevin is gonna be continuing the mission to dive in to see what exactly is going on what happened to max and why are these aliens here? And, of course, that, what well, I'm assuming is the villain of the season, making the threat that Ben has no idea what's coming and everything. And, yeah, some shit's going down. And I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. So what do you guys think of uh, Episode 2, Part 2 of Ben 10 Returns from Ben 10 Alien Force? I'm curious to know your thoughts, guys. Whatever thoughts you have, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.